Hi, this is Diane. I am sitting here at NAM, and I've got Jake, and I've got Alex from Syrah, and also Camelot over here. But you know, Jake from former from Amaranth. Dude, I'm just surrounded by amazing talent. You know, killer vocalist, producer, and killer drummer. Like, this is just awesome. How are you guys doing? And he's handsome too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can't argue with that. Surrounded by you know beauty here. So look hey. at that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so. So yeah. How's it going? How was your flight in? Uh, it was terrible, to be honest, but, uh, well, that's another story. Uh, both me and Alex had delays and layovers and all these... I missed my connection and, and stuff, but that's, that's okay. I'm, I'm here, and that's all fine. Yeah. So, yeah. You guys released a killer new album last year. Thank you. Yes, and I'm in love with the album, and I think everybody knows, because anybody who's seen my review, whether it's on Rocknet or Yesterday's News, they just know that I'm, like still in love with this album and I actually have my alarm clock now on my phone set to bye bye forever <laughs> it's, no. it's just like boom boom it wakes me up in the best happy place so what has the response been from the world on the album yeah, I've seen a lot but what have you guys felt and heard yourselves well the response has been fantastic fortunately like really mostly right like I'd say 90% everybody loves it and um, it, it, it has been overwhelming yeah. that, that's what I say um, there is some territories that has praised it like crazy like japan apparently really loved it uh, you loved it and my mom likes it so uh no no but it's it's been really really good and uh, uh we i feel that we have a platform to work on here and uh i can't wait to go out on tour to tour more on this album yeah. and uh build up a new fan base and you talk about tour. You guys have been touring pretty heavy. You've been out with Battle Beast and what, what yeah, else? We just got home. We just got home. Yeah, yeah. We basically just got home from a tour, and it was so much fun to tour with the new material. Um, this is something that, that we had talked about internally a lot because, of course, on the first record, you only have one record, and basically you have to play the whole thing. And uh, but sometimes some songs are more suited for or better suited for a live situation than others. And now with the two records, we could really, you know choose that stuff better and it was so much fun to play that, that new material yeah and especially the new album no halos in hell uh was written for the sole purpose of being playing live so the first album was not the first album was something that we did because we wanted to make great music but we didn't know how much touring we would get out of it uh, apparently we got a lot of it but uh, when we sat down to write this album we focused mainly on how will these songs work in a live situation and uh we tried a couple of them, and most of them worked really, really well. And together, just as Alex said, together were the songs from the first album. We got a killer live set now, and uh, that, that's really, really amazing. So, and you were gone for part of the tour last year because you were on tour with Camelot, yes, yes, exactly. and you guys have Ada, who jumps for you. Yeah. And it's it's so Fantastic nice. Fantastic guy, see, by the yeah, way. Uh, it's, it's, like you can't miss the talent. There's so much talent there, and. So what is it like now when you're kind of back on the shift where you've got Alex back in the, the fold? But I think a lot of people still keep asking about Jesper. Um, is there for the next tour coming up, is, is any word on Jesper coming back? Yet, yeah, or? Jesper is going to come back at one point. But we, uh, we are giving him our, our fully support on uh, making sure that he takes care of himself, getting better. Uh, his problem right now is obviously that you know, social anxiety and uh, stuff like that, which is uh, really pain in the ass when you're a touring musician around a lot of people and, you know, you have to lock yourself into a touring bus every day. Uh, but, you know, he's a member of the band, he's a former of the band, and uh, uh, we're trying to support him as much as we possibly can. And he will come back at one point, but for the upcoming shows right now, he's not there. We have uh, Marcus Sunison uh, that has been helping out a lot. And, and he's um, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a top notch. Yeah. Just, yeah, and obviously, obviously, we always want to play with uh, Alex on all our shows. But but we have this um, approach that it's better that the the band is out playing than you know being on hold just because one member is not able to be there. Uh, so uh, Adda has been doing a great favor of jumping in and, and you know. Yeah, and support. he's a phenomenal drummer. He's a phenomenal drummer, but obviously it's always something different when Alex is behind the drums because I mean, it's, it's but Alex's It's song. my material, exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's like more tailored to my playing. And, but he's doing a great job. And yeah. I'm, just, I'm just glad we have him um, because to me it's super important, like Jake said, that we, you know, the band keeps playing and keeps reaching out to new people. The question is, if I would have to stay home, uh, who would uh, take my place? I would vote for Joey Tempest. What do you say? I love Joey. That's, yeah, I know. I, I know mean, that. Everyone that knows me and knows my story, and the, even the yesterday's news, 
Europe is the band that turned me on to the entire Swedish scene, but not just the Swedish scene. They, they turned me on to bands like Thin Lizzy and Rainbow Bands that I wasn't listening to at my age. So that would yeah. be phenomenal. But Europe's going to be coming to the States this year, you know, so I don't oh, know when that you would be able to. When do they come? They are coming on tour with Foreigner in Kansas. They just announced it. It's, it's amazing. So oh, that's great tour. It's great to see yeah. these so guys out there. you have to do the shows. I think you'll have uh. to do the shows. Yeah, sorry, Joey. Maybe you get to do Cyrus some I other time. Just NHL 20. I mean, like, <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> I knew there had to be another reason. <laughs> well, you know, Seattle's getting their own NHL, actually, NHL team. The so. per, the, actually, he's the best Christmas present I've ever got. I mean, like, I am one of those that hates uh, uh, this Christmas thing with you know giving away things for yeah buying things just for the sake of consumerism. This, yeah, yeah, consumerism is something I really, really hate. Uh, so I usually I tell um, everyone around me that if you want to give me something, plant some trees in the rainforest, save a orangutan, or, or you know, donate some money somewhere good. Uh, but Pixie got me NHL 20, and I'm really thankful for that because it's the best game ever. And for those of you who aren't familiar, Pixie is Jake's fiance, and she is the most amazing person in the world. So she's very supportive and lets you come out to do these things that not like let you, but it supports you to come out to do the things that you do with your music. And you've got two children at home, and you guys are about to have a bigger family because you're getting a dog. Yes. So <laughs> she stays home and she carries that weight that you're not there sometimes. And people forget that it's hard for the families that are left behind and I think it's awesome it's really really hard it's really really hard to do that yeah and I'm I'm extremely thankful for what she's doing to me and to the band and for everything so that's yeah that's amazing you have to have a support system at home absolutely you know absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because what we are doing it might it might look like a lot of fun it is a lot of fun but it's also still work and you're still being away from home and stuff and it's very important to have somebody at home like who supports you with that so that's that's great. Absolutely. Now, you also have your own management agency called Guilty Gorilla, and you've yeah. got your own artists, and I've been listening to some of your artists are phenomenal. The, all the music that's coming out is really great. Uh, Through the Noise, I just got turned on to that band. And yeah, that yeah, yeah. Phenomenal. They're fantastic. They're really heavy, but then that that electronica remake, that they, the remix they did was really cool. It kind of <laughs> I, I, strange, didn't know, I, I, I didn't even know what they did, but I think it was one of the guys in the band that decided that uh, I'm bored, mm -hmm. I'm going to do a remix of our album, and he did, and, and it turned out really, really fun. Yeah, it's like this really evil metal meet Depeche Mode. It's yeah, kind of, but it works. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. So yeah. through the noise, check them out. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not just that synth mix. They they've actually got their original album that is super heavy and dark. Yeah. So how do you manage it all with everything that you have going on? You you've got your production and <laughs> your acting. I'm asking myself too. It's an excellent question. Yeah. I'm listening. How do you do it? I mean, for those of you who don't know, you've got your management. You you've got a production company. You you mix and help people and you're, you're guesting on other people's music but you're also an actor and how yeah, does that yeah, work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes we have terrible fights at home because I am trying to do all the stuff at the same time. Uh, but for Guilty Gorilla, we're a couple of people working there. Uh, so um, uh, I can o oversee all the all the stuff. I'm, d I'm not doing all the day-to-day -day basis uh, or, you know, work. Um, Otherwise, I would not have any spare time whatsoever. But I'm one of those people that I want to succeed in myself in the way where I always try to go into territories in my own life where I don't know anything about. I want to grow as a human being. So like acting, for example, has been a dream of mine since I was 15 years old. But the first 15 years, I never dared to take the step because like for me it was hard. it was something that was hard to stand in front of a camera and you know the past couple of years I've been you know completely changing and I'm like this is the thing I want really want to do and uh, yeah I, and I love it I've made one movie so far and that was one of the funniest thing I've ever done so and I think one of the things about Jake is like because I can tell a little bit from from an outside you know position because I see it I'm, and I'm always like amazed at that how you do all these things but Jake is one of these people who does who just does things he's not waiting for things to happen it's like you do them and that's a, that's a great thing yeah. you know because that's the only way you can do it you know like something is at hand and you do it and that's how it, yeah and that's way. from my viewpoint of it as well watching you and what you've done over your career you don't half ass anything and that's just it's it's 100% or it's nothing with you and it's yeah to me it's it just mind blowing how much you do because of how much you put of yourself into something yeah, that's, yeah, you can, uh, thank you. <laughs> I think that is a compliment, but uh, I don't know what to answer to that. I, I always want to become the best in what I try to, uh, you know, put myself into. 
uh, and obviously I've been trying a lot of things and uh, uh, there's a lot of things that I suck at but but you know at least I give myself 100% and I try them out and if it doesn't work I put them aside and then I do something else and you, I mean, like, you, you teach drum clinics, you've traveled, you were in Japan recently, weren't you, for a drum uh, clinic? China, China, China yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So, what, what do you, else do you have going on outside of just, you know, I mean, like, your Camelot, your Syrah, yeah. you've got clinics. Are you teaching, uh, what else are you doing? Yes, I'm teaching privately a little bit. I, I don't really have time to do that anymore, and I'm just traveling too much to, like, you know, have a regular schedule with students. So I, I'm really looking now into uh, doing Skype lessons more because exactly because of that because I'm just here and there all the time and but I love teaching it's a, it's a real passion and um, I just met one of my former students uh, from Canada Chris Stevenson who, who became a great drummer who's like also a Mapex artist is touring himself and that is just priceless I love seeing that I love seeing things happening for other people and I just it's it's something I truly love the, the thing in China was fantastic um, there's it's such a big country, obviously, so many people and um, so many kids that are in, into drumming and it's, it was just great. But it must feel amazing to have a student that then, then actually succeeds. It, it is fantastic, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, what's the definition of success? But I mean, like, as long as people are improving, having fun and yeah. they love what they're doing, that is success already. But to see somebody, of course, making his way into the business as hard as it is and still succeeding at that, that's priceless and he's not the only one like I've, I've had a few of them already that's and I'm also coaching drummers that are actually at you know at quite a great point of their career already but that's like at the same time I'm still taking lessons occasionally like you, you can always learn you know well, you, I think you, and you, you also forgot one thing you also have your own jewelry brand I, I yeah, exactly have my own jewelry brand Jesus Christ yeah I should have not forgotten that so, nice. so it's called gem sessions and we're it's it's jewelry made out of drum symbols and the drummers <laughs> Out of drummers, <laughs> yeah, so the bones. It's made out of the sweat of your drummers. <laughs> sweat and bones and blood. I think you can sell them better that way if you're like, hey, it's a, you know, Alex sweat all over your symbols. Better, yeah? You want one? <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's a fantastic thing. And we're also, we're integrating a charity uh, with, the, with the sales so that um, we're trying to support musical lessons for children from families that otherwise couldn't afford them. That's great. And so, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's another real passion. So we're trying to expand that now this year. That's awesome, because I love to hear about any time an artist has passion for their art, but then they find a way to make a contribution to the world some way. That yeah, is fantastic. You have to give back. I'm, I truly yeah. believe you have to give well, back. And music is such a healer, so that's an amazing thing. Yeah. So you guys are at NAMM. Are you guys visiting any of your sponsors? Do you have any demos, anything while you're here? Yeah, I, I was just over, uh, because we just arrived a couple hours ago, uh, I was just over at ESP uh, and talked to them a little bit. I walked to Elixir, the, st the strings that I'm using, and um, then I'm going to try to run around as much as I possibly can now between interviews and, um, you know, talk to all the other guys. Yeah, because you guys are just in and out. And also, no, and also maybe talk to uh, new companies that, you know, you have the chance to talk to while you're here, so that's Absolutely. great. Exactly, same here. Yeah, I have a couple of meetings set up with the companies that, that I'm associated with already. But it's still interesting. You never know who you're going to meet, and maybe there's like cool new products or anything. I think that's the whole point of, yeah. of a trade show like this. So, yeah. Well, and a lot of people will give NAM kind of the elbow that it's kind of like, oh, it's just a groupie fest or something. But this really is what you make of it when you come to NAM. You're not going to have another place in the world where you meet this many vendors at one place at one time to really check out their gear, what's new, and make other opportunities. I mean, it is what you make of it. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah of course. And, and um, at a place like this, they also come in with the money. So they actually have the possibility to sign new deals with new artists, stuff like that. To which to ideas, like, all yeah, of that. And to yeah, invest yeah. in ideas that they don't have during the, the rest of the year. So yeah. this is the place to be when, you're, uh, when you want to do business with, yeah, with companies. And, and, and a lot of people don't understand that. But in the business that we are, we, uh, we need all those companies to be able to do our job. So much so. Yeah, so without the support <laughs> of those companies like guitar brands, string brands, uh, yeah. uh, whatever it might be, drums, uh, uh, it would be really, really hard to be an, ar uh, an artist these days. Until there's like the inflatable drum set, uh, uh, you know, there's always going to, like, we, we have to have that kind of support. Yeah, exactly. You know, to have our gear in place. Yeah. So let me ask you each, who are your sponsors? Oh, well, a long list. Yes, long <laughs> yeah. list. Maybe I should start. So um, I'm playing Mapex drums, Zildjian cymbals, um, Remo drum hats. Two box electronics, Zildjian drumsticks, 
Um, there's probably a ton of other that I'm just not thinking about right now. But that's like the main drum things. That but to I'm, all those sponsors, even if you're not mentioned, thank you so much for what you do for these artists. Uh, of course, of course. Yeah. And Jake? Uh, I'm with the with ESP for guitars, Alexir for strings, uh, Steinberg uh, for uh, recording purposes. Like in my studio, I would never be able to do a single song without their support. Uh, so Steinberg and Cubase. Um, what else do we got? We got Mackie. Are you a Sennheiser artist? Uh, yeah, Mackie. Yes. I'm a I'm a Sennheiser artist, uh, and Sennheiser has been supporting me from day one. I sent them an email when I was nothing, and they believed in me. And uh, now I'm here with you know all the gold albums and stuff like that. And they, I, I, fantastic company to work with. I, I owe them a lot. So yeah, it's fantastic. That's awesome. Well, guys, I wish you so much luck this year on whatever tour you have coming up. And we're hoping we see you in North Yeah, we're America. actually having some new, yeah, yeah. news. We can tell them now, but it's going to come out in a couple of days. I, I got to know it from Alex. Yes. I didn't even know it myself. So, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's fun. Yeah, so actually we will be supporting Delane in the UK. For, was it four shows? Four yeah, I was just shows? saying, we cannot say it now, but he, he just did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so no. we can't say it now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> well, and this will be a few days later, so by the time you see this, it'll yeah, be okay. I was just kidding. Yeah. It's yeah. going yeah, to be official on, on the 20th, so I think we're yeah, fine with that. Yeah, that's super. Yeah. Any plans for the really US? Yeah, plans for the U.S. absolutely in the fall. Okay. Yeah, so so we really hope to get over here for a full-blown tour, uh, fall 2020. Uh, we're going to Japan um, oh, yeah. uh, early early this year. Uh, June was it, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. nothing is booked right now, but but yeah. we're we're, we're still, gonna, we're still be, working yeah, on it. Yeah, still working on it. So uh, there's a lot of things happening, and hopefully we can get out on another European run as well. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And festivals, of course. Awesome. Anything else you guys want to say to the fans or about the new album? Anything before we go here? Yeah, I mean, especially to the North American fans, I think uh, the reception has been so great. Uh, we keep getting messages and mails and touring uh, in the States one and a half years ago. It was really, really fantastic. We can't wait to get back no, to the band. No, we can't wait to get back. Yes. And, and for all of those uh, that watches this and haven't heard of us, going to Spotify or other streaming services and uh, have a listen to our album, no, no Halos in Hell. Yes, and you can go back and check out Letters to Myself, too. That was a phenomenal album. Absolutely. So definitely, yeah. yes. Thank you very much. Guys, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You.